Hey friends, welcome back into today's video. So today I'm gonna to do a clean with me video to inspire you. If you have been delaying on your spring cleaning, I know that it's getting warmer outside, you wanna hang outside, but your house needs some maintenance and some love. So as the weather gets warmer, I love to clean things that don't normally get cleaned during my normal cleaning routine, like say the insides of the dishwasher, the condenser coils of my refrigerator, the oven hood vents, things that just get neglected over time and just just acquire so much dust by the time you get to them you're like oh my gosh so chill with me today as I get my house nice and clean the little tiny spots the spots that you missed so let's go ahead and get this video started Today's video is sponsored by Future. I'm so excited to tell you about Future a little later in the video. So I don't know about y'all, but I know that on like nice rainy days, nice chill days, I love to get cozy and kind of take care of some house stuff. Um, before I did that, I was made sure that I made my favorite tea of the moment. This is cinnamon tea. I am addicted to this. It is so delicious, needs no sweetener. It's just naturally sweet. It's so good. Anyway, the first thing I wanted to take care of is the condenser coils on my refrigerator. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know if y'all have cleaned your condenser coils lately, but look how much hair and dust and junk has accumulated down here. Disgusting. I know that Clover has been losing a lot of hair lately and a lot of it has gone here. So I wasn't able to take the grill off. I wasn't able to like pop it off. So I needed a flathead, a screwdriver, which was, mm, I don't know. I'm like, if you want me to clean this, make it easy for me to take the front off. Oh, by the way, if you clean your condenser coils in your refrigerator, make sure you turn your refrigerator off, you unplug it, or you turn off the power to the fridge because you could really hurt yourself. Anyway, look at how disgusting the grill was oh my gosh so i had my handy dandy vacuum i vacuumed up a lot of the hair before i gave it a good clean with a paper towel with some clean cleaner on it um it was really really gross and i was so glad and look at the condenser coils wait you can't look at the condenser coils because you can't see them because there's so much dust in front of them that is disgusting there was also something that had like dripped down there so i was very excited to take my vacuum cleaner and go to town and get it all cleaned up look at oh my gosh look at how much it gets sucked up this was incredibly satisfying i have not cleaned their condenser coils in two years and i don't think that the previous owners had cleaned the condenser coils either and i know they had a dog so the amount of hair, dust, and all kinds of nonsense that was in there was ridiculous. Now, you can actually now see the coils if you look hard enough. I think I turned on the lights to get a better view of what I was doing because it was really rainy outside. It was very, very dark. Uh, I turned up the ISO on my camera so it doesn't look as dark, but I, yes, I did turn on the light to see exactly what was going on here. And oh my gosh, there was so much crud and dust and dirt and stains and nastiness that this was like the most satisfying thing of my day. Oh my gosh, I was actually loving this, even though getting the front of the thing off was really inconvenient and annoying because I basically had to like lie on the floor and get in there with my Phillips uh, head screwdriver. It was not fun, but this part was really fun. Just getting in there and like getting all that dust out. So I went in there again with my Swiffer, Swiffer, I guess. <laughs> uh, the Swiffer actually picked up a lot of the stuff that was left by my vacuum cleaner, just a lot of the stuff that was just stuck to the condenser coils. And it's really good to do this once a year, maybe a little more often if you have pets, because a lot of that hair gets up in there and then the condenser coils can't really work uh, properly and your refrigerator can malfunction. You might notice things like not or the fridge temperature not you know being as stable so it's important to do this every now and again just to get all that dust out of there so your fridge can work as it's supposed to look at the nasty paper towel <laughs> that i got so it was it's really satisfying to clean things that like just don't get clean very often there was those uh little drips i don't know what had dripped there but there was something that had dripped down there that i was so excited to clean and I was very excited also to clean the grill of this um, and put it back. It took me a long time 
to put it back. Oh, here is the finished product. You can actually see the condenser coils. How, isn't that something? I wasn't able to, I wasn't even able to see these before. They were just covered in dust. Disgusting. But it's really important to take care of your appliances in your home because your appliances are working really hard for you. And sometimes we forget about them. We just like are using them, the dishwasher, the oven, the refrigerator, the washing machine. And we'll do the washing machine in, in another video. But these things do need maintenance as well. And there are often things that you can just do to make your refrigerator last longer. Oh my gosh, putting the front on was so annoying because the screws just wouldn't go. And I was super frustrated, but I got them on and I finally could get off the floor because no one wants to be on the floor like that. And I totally forgot while I was doing this to take Clover out on like a tiny little walk just to get, you know, to get him a little satisfied. And it was raining so much outside. You can see he's totally wet. A lot of you have been asking for a Clover update. Um, a short update is he is doing great on an, a, a raised dose of medication and his hair is growing back. Oh my gosh, it had, all, it had actually started like to do like a weird snow rain thing at this time too. So... This weather on this day was not great, but it was the perfect day for cleaning. Like you wanna stay in, you wanna be nice and cozy, you wanna do something chill inside, and it was so nice. So before I started cleaning a lot of the other spaces, I was gonna clean the dishwasher next. I decided to clean out the dishwasher, make sure everything was put away so that I could get in the dishwasher. Oh, I'd forgotten that I usually give Clover a treat after his little walks, there he goes. He's not really that great about taking treats gently, but you know, we're working on it. <laughs> anyway, I decided to clean the inside of the dishwasher because even though it's a dishwasher, it's sometimes it gets dirty. And this little magnet, I get asked about this all the time. I got it from the container store, but you can buy it from Amazon or Target. It's so cute and it prevents, prevents the spouse from saying, is it clean or dirty? You know, you could look inside. That's something you could do. But sometimes it's easier to have a magnet on the outside. And I removed some of the parts that were so gross on the inside. They had like, like all kinds of gross food in them and stuff. Getting through a long day of cleaning has been so much easier since I started exercising. Cleaning is a workout, no one tells you. And that is where today's sponsor comes in. I'd like to take a quick second to thank the sponsor of this week's video, Future. Future is a fitness app that pairs you with your own highly credentialed personal trainer who will build custom workouts that you can complete on your own time wherever. One of the things that's been really important to me over the course of my life is fitness. As a lifelong dancer and athlete, I have always done my part to make sure that my body was in shape and that I was moving my body enough. In my 20s, I was riding horses five days a week and I was also teaching horseback riding, so I never stopped my body moving. And then somewhere along the line, I got injured um, and I stopped exercising. When Future reached out to me, I was very skeptical. I was like, oh, I don't know. Uh, can I try it before I say <laughs> anything but I also saw this sign from the universe that says this is your chance to get in shape again and uh, thankfully they let me try it and I I love it so much. I paired up with my trainer, Lisa, and we connected on a 45 minute FaceTime call where we discussed my athletic history, my fitness goals, what my physical limitations were, if I had any. She created a workout plan for me, and right now I'm working out three times a week, about 40 minutes at a time. And I usually choose to knock this out right first thing in the morning so that I can good to go for the rest of the day. The visual prompts and the video prompts are so easy for me to follow, and sometimes Lisa will chime in with a modification to an exercise that she wants me to try, or just to tell me not to give up towards the end of the workout because sometimes I feel like giving up. But she always holds me accountable to get my workout done no matter like what is happening in my life. I know I have to work out that day or Lisa's gonna know. <laughs> All of my workout information is sent from my Apple Watch to directly to the app so she knows how I did, how much my heart was beating, how much I was sweating. And I cannot get over how much she goes out of her way to make the workouts fun for me. She knows I'm a huge gamer. By, by the way, I have a gaming channel, link down below. Um, and on Mario Day, which was March, March 10th, she went over and above to put a Mario Day section in my workout uh, with sound effects and everything. And I was laughing so hard, I was sweating, but I was laughing. And she's always there to give me a high five after my workout's done. The only way I'm gonna work out is if someone's gonna hold me accountable. And if this is you, then Future is the app for you. Future will change your life. My goal was to get stronger, increase my stamina, and basically feel better. Today was my three month anniversary of my first workout, and I have to say I've never felt better and had more energy than 
even in my 20s and 30s, I feel so good. If you finally wanna hit your fitness goals, I have a special offer for you. Use the link down in the description and you'll get your first month with a future trainer for only $19. Thank you so much to Future for sponsoring today's video. Check out the description to try your first month for only $19. You can make 2023 the year you crush your fitness goals. Let's go. All right, back to cleaning. I don't think enough of us clean the dishwasher as frequently as we should because we feel like the dishwasher's cleaning our dishes shouldn't it also be clean but the real truth is the dishwasher gets scaly slimy uh disgusting and you have to take the filter out and clean it because there's food in there and also some of the sprayer arms can get clogged with food so it's great to take those out every once in a while like like twice a year or something but like at least once a year you know just give your dishwasher a little bit of love so i sprayed the inside with some all-purpose cleaner and cleaned the inside i got some of that scaly disgusting stuff on the bottom up and on the sides of the door there was crud and it was gross and I hadn't even really noticed it. I just just was ignoring it. And there was also crud on the side of the cabinets as well. Just places you don't look at every day. You know, you're opening and closing the dishwasher, but you don't look at these things and they're getting so dirty. Like look at the bottom near the door disgusting. So I took my handy dandy OXO cleaning brush. Y'all know I love my OXO cleaning brushes. I have a set of three of them. I'm obsessed with them. They get used every single week in like every single like little crevice. They're so good at cleaning. And I use that to clean the sides of my dishwasher. And I was shocked at the results. Y'all, those little cl cleaning brushes are worth it. If you don't want, you don't have to buy a special cleaning brush. You can use a regular toothbrush. Like if you go to the dentist, and they give you a toothbrush and you use like an electronic toothbrush, just bring the toothbrush home and it's designated cleaning toothbrush. Now write on it, maybe in marker, cleaning toothbrush so that no one actually brushes their teeth with it because that's upsetting, but you can have a designated cleaning toothbrush in like places that are like grimy and gross, so good. Oh, and I found the manufacturer's plastic um, on top of the door here. I, I, I had thought, the dishwasher looked a little worn at the top and shocker, the manufacturer's plastic was still on the door. <laughs> the previous owners never removed it. I had never removed it. I didn't even realize it was there. And look, it's like we got a brand new dishwasher. I was, I couldn't believe it. I also had taken some plastic off of my oven door as well. Um, so that was something I had discovered. So I get, I mean, it's like we're actually living here. <laughs> These appliances are five years old, maybe five years old. And I'm still finding manufacturer's plastic on them. So I think it's pretty funny, especially since we've lived here for two years. Um, that's on us. But I thought it was funny that the, the plastic was just still there. Anyway, I was making sure that I was getting the inside nice and shiny and clean. I cleaned the sprayer arm. I put that back on. And don't be afraid to like like mess around in your dishwasher and find out where things are. If you need to like look at the manual, you can do that. I have a bowl full of vinegar here. I put it on the top rack and I turn the dishwasher on to a regular cycle and that cleans the dishwasher, removes all of the nasty scaly bits. You can even put some baking soda in there too. Just give your dishwasher some love. And finally, look, I'm taking off the America sticker on the dishwasher because it ain't new. We just need to own things. You know, I feel like Manufacturer stickers are one of those things that like I like to take off, but sometimes you forget about them because it looks like part of the dishwasher. And I walk by and I'm like, oh, that's just, you know, part of the dishwasher, but it's like a manufacturer sticker from the manufacturer. Take it off. Own the dishwasher. Commit to it. It's ours now. It can't go back to the factory. Yes. And there was like this little like drip on the side of the stainless steel. I don't know how long it's been there, but it, I feel like it's been there for like a really long time. Like as long as I've had the dishwasher. So I probably tried to pick to get that up a little more and look at the bottom of the dishwasher, like the little kick stand or not kick stand, but kick plate or whatever. It was so gross. So gross. So 
So these little spots in your, in your kitchen that like do not get attention, give them attention. Just like one day, just go on and look for like little hidden spots. Cause look at the, look at the dirt. Look at the dirt is again, especially if you have a pet, if you have a cat, if you have a bird, if you have a dog, if you have a, a ferret, any kind of furry animal, whatever, look, cause the fur just goes down. And don't forget the fronts of your cabinets, cause look at the nasty, well, it's hard to see, but the dust, especially if you have shaker cabinets like me, the dust just settles down in those little grooves and the front of the cabinets, you know, you're, you're slinging food all over the place, snacks and drinks and stuff and some of it in inevitably splashes on your cabinets and gets on there and is gross so make sure you take some time to clean that off we have this glass door in our in our kitchen that goes to the downstairs and the little panes of glass are so dirty you, it's really hard to tell but they've never been cleaned as long as we've lived there and so i was just going to take the time to clean them up by the way i'm using a microfiber cloth i'm able to clean this between jobs and keep it relatively clean it does it does kind of fill up with dust and you do need to clean it it you know stick it in the washing machine every once in a while and get a new one but it does a really good job cleaning your you know job after job after job oh god look at my husband's socks on the stool i didn't even notice that you know what we love husbands we love them we love them they're great they are fantastic anyway Cleaning the door was highly, highly satisfying. I had to go back and use a little vinegar on there and get it nice and shiny and squeaky and uh, clear and beautiful because we love a clear, beautiful pane of glass. This was also a place where there was lots of splashes of things like coffee and tea and whatever had splashed from the counter beside it, I guess. It was, I was just astounded how much like stuff there was. And by this time I had forgotten that Clover had just fallen asleep on the couch and he's so sweet so let's have a Clover break look at his little toe beans are they not the cutest things you've ever seen oh my gosh Clover is living his best life he's just napping sleeping so sweet I took the time to also care for my Roomba because that's something you have to do too. A lot of people talk about how Roombas break. Uh, you really have to take care of them. Every now and again, you gotta go and take out the hair that is on the rollers because it will it will make your Roomba work really hard if it's trying to work really hard to turn the rollers and it will overheat the Roomba. So make sure you really take care of your cleaning machines so that they can take care of you, you know? Give them a little love. Anyway, again, these kick plates, is that what they're called? Anyway, the, kick, the, the, the cabinet kick plates or whatever they're called were disgusting. Not only because they had just been caked up with food or whatever that fell down there, the Roomba also stains them as well when it bumps up against them. So I just wanted to take a minute and wipe away as much as I could. And the bottom oven had also become very dusty and below that had it become very dusty as well. So it's highly satisfying to clean that up. By the way, if you do not have a handheld vacuum, it is a life changer. You can just go anywhere with that little crevice tool, get up in there, just clean it all up. And it's highly satisfying. At this point, I also had noticed that there was more manufacturer's plastic on the bottom of the oven door, I could see the blue shining up at me and I was like, hey, what is going on? And then I was like, oh no, it's more plastic. And yes, it is like, we have a brand new oven. We have a brand new oven cause I'm pulling the plastic off like it's new. So um, that was fun and interesting going in your kitchen and like looking at places you never look at is incredibly satisfying because you find things that are shocking like manufacturer's plastic what this like how is this still on there but you feel like you're like oh i got a new stove even though it's not new a portion of it's new the portion that was below the plastic brand new so y'all i got a brand new oven ain't that something anyway i was really focused on making sure the outsides of the cabinets were very, very clean. And thankfully, I could sit while doing this. I didn't have to like squat or anything. I could just sit and chill. I had to change my 
cloth because my cloth was getting really dirty and full of dust and it was just really satisfying i had a podcast on i was listening by the way i was listening to the last of us podcast if you all have not watched the last of us on hbo oh my goodness what a good show i'm not even i i'm not into zombies okay i haven't even played the last of us even though i'm a gamer because i haven't had a playstation until like recently the show was so good it's so good you are missing out if you haven't seen it the character development a 10 out of 10 the storytelling 10 out of 10 craig mazin is a genius watch it highly recommend it so afterwards i watch the when i watch but i listen to the podcast on hbo uh like their their youtube channel and it's very very satisfying anyway cleaning the house this day was very satisfying i got so much done i got dust in places i haven't even noticed there was dust like here's that little corner unit in my kitchen where the wine is and our produce some of our like potato produce is and i got in there with my again my vacuum cleaner got up in there cleaned it up and got the that dust that little wine fridge there oh my god behind there was so much nasty dust ew 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 and i took my extra long um swiffer and got up in there with a the swiffer so satisfying like you have no idea look at that thing look at look at oh yeah oh yeah you can get back there so easily if i was even more fastidious i would have removed all those jars and dusted underneath like in all those little crevices i've actually done that recently so i didn't need to do it this time but y'all so satisfying here's my husband's like candy collection right there <laughs> He's got a very huge sweet tooth and he likes to keep little like candy stashes around. It's so funny. Anyway, I was like so satisfied getting all the dust up with my Swiffer. Oh, loved it. This was the most satisfying cleaning day ever. Kind of last but not least, the oven vents and all of that gunky stuff that gets caught up in there. Listen, I'm cleaning these way more often than I'd like to, but it's because we cook like a lot. <laughs> and there's always like nasty uh, oil buildup in there. So you can actually wash these in the dishwasher, but my dishwasher was going. So I was just like, eh, whatever, I'll hand wash them. They hand wash really quite nicely as long as your water can get pretty hot enough. You can soak them in like a baking soda and water solution or like with some dish soap and stuff and they get really, really clean. You just wanna make sure that you rinse them super well. Like we're rinsing forever here. I could see all like the gunk coming out, but it was so satisfying to get them clean. We just cook a lot. A, a lot and so this needs to be done a lot there's also a fair amount of grease that accumulates on the oven hood it is disgusting or i guess it's the stove hood not the oven hood anyway it's gross and needs to be cleaned i love a paper towel for this job because it gets a little too greasy for a microfiber cloth because sometimes the microfiber cloth can just suck in that oil and it like never goes away from it so i also clean the top of the vent because again those little particles vapors of hot oil just settle on top of there and it gets like this really gross layer of oil on it so it was highly satisfying to clean that make sure everything was all set and this was the most satisfying detail cleaning of all season the next thing i'm gonna do is probably go and clean the downstairs the downstairs is very very neglected because we're still arranging furniture down there even though we've lived here for like two years we're still working on it so i uh, make sure to tune in for those spring cleaning videos i really have a lot to do i have windows bathrooms all kinds of areas to clean i hope you're excited to go along the journey with me and i hope that you're motivated to get your home clean for spring as well check out future down in the description below and i'll see you in the next one bye